ओम नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्मच्या संप्रदाय विषमशिभ्यो ज्योतिपाशमे so <clears throat> yeah we were looking at the parama siddhanta on anandamaya adhikaranam so here anandamaya shabda has the meaning of brahma the implied meaning of brahma by lakshana so what we were looking at earlier the <coughs> एकदेशी सिद्धांति सेज दैट मयट इज नॉट इन विकार अर्थ इट इज इन प्राचुर्य अर्थ देर फोर वॉट द पूर्व पक्षी वॉज सेंग जीवा इज द मीनिंग ऑफ आनंद मया बिकॉज इट इज आनंद विकार स्टैंड रिफ्यूटेड हाउ एवर दि परम सिद्धांत इज दैट मयट इज इन विकार अर्थ प्राचुर्य अर्थ इज एग्रीएबल बट देन हियर इट इज आई मीन इट कैन बी विकार अर्थ एंड स्टिल नॉट मीन जीवा बिकॉज बाय लक्षण इट स्टैंड फॉर ब्रह्म बिकॉज इन दी एंड ब्रह्म पुच्छम प्रतिष्ठा इज मेन्शन देर एंड दैट प्रतिष्ठा अर्थ मीन्स दैट फाइनली Brahma is intended to be taught in the entire section starting with Annamaya Kosha. Therefore, Pancha Kosha Viveka lands a person on Brahma, which is Atma, that is Nyana. It is not Upasana. So, Puro Pakshi is Upasana, and uh, Ekadeshi is also Upasana. Conclusion is wrong. Therefore, even with mayat in vikara artha still brahma will be the meaning by taking lakshana of annamaya shabda because that is the tatparya vishaya if the tatparya is known through shadlingas then one can do lakshana even when mukhya artha is insisted upon by the puru pakshi otherwise it will be illogical as the analysis progresses we keep on seeing at each and every mantra how the tatparya vishaya is important in concluding any mimamsa so here yattu puchcha shabdasya avaya uparatvam uh, i was uh, going to mention the uh, there was asanneva sabhavati i just wanted to yeah talk about that so this asanneva bhavati is a mantra that does not follow it precedes just precedes before the Chaitri mantra that we saw yesterday. So the mantra said that uh, the Ananda Maya there finally rasa ha. That is rasa ha, and there is a labdhu labdhavya bhava. And here it is said in the this uh, uh, rasa gum he vai labdhva anandi bhavati. So just before that. that is the seventh mantra but in the sixth mantra it is said the sixth mantra there is asanneva sabhavati asad brahmeti veda ched asti brahmeti ched veda santamenam tato viduriti so one who knows brahma as existent he is considered as existent santam viduhu 
everyone knows that everyone meaning everyone who has shastra knowledge they know this person who says brahma exists that person has existed existed in sense sadhu person really what it means the sadhu person and one who says that brahma is in there is an asadhu person he is as though non existent in the perspective of others from the perspective of shastra also because he is not pursuing purushartha he is saying that atma does not exist that's what it means so he is more like a charvaka and unfit to be pursuing the human goal so therefore he is considered as non existent this is as though now that kind of a usage is there meaning what has been said is that the brahma is the tatpare vishaya there brahma is being discussed it is not anything else so anandamaya after anandamaya discussion of anandamaya brahma is the conclusion and even before that asannevasa bhavati where anandamaya is not discussed what is said that asannevasa bhavati asad brahmeti vedachet one who knows brahma if at all one says that and he knows he says something which he knows as non existent brahma there is nothing called as brahma there is no statement that anandamaya isn't there that is not the statement that he is making so the shruti is saying brahma isn't there if that is the perspective then that person is as good as non existent therefore brahma is the contextual topic it is the focus there in the beginning also in the middle also and in the end also therefore anandamaya lakshana will land you in brahma so in that vakya brahma pucham pratishta that brahma is what is the meaning of anandamaya vilakshana and this will also clarify another thing the labdhru labdhavya bhav which will come up again what we saw earlier as in the ekadeshi paksha also what we saw as this in bheda vipadesha cha there is a labdhru labdhavya bhava anandamaya is labdhavya says the ekadeshi siddhanti and jiva is the labdha jiva is the labdha and anandamaya is labdhavya therefore there is a difference between anandamaya which is brahma and labdha jiva this is the counter that the ekadeshi made to the puro pakshi therefore anandamaya cannot mean jiva now since brahma pucham pratishta is mentioned anandamaya will stop i mean cease to be atma it will become kosha from parama siddhanta so once anandamaya becomes kosha the jiva buddhi which was there by identification brahma becomes jivatma and that jivatma is separate from seen separate from brahma because anena atmana anupravishya anena jivena atmana anupravishya said elsewhere is as per jnana if it takes place without any doubt without any obstacle then that itself is mukti karana as to brahma being my real nature i am brahma but anena jeevena atmana anupravishya that ishara having entered this unfortunately becomes avidya grasta and becomes a samsari as though again everything is as though so is a samsari but samsari jeeva cannot be equated to mukta brahma therefore there is bheda similarly this parama siddhanta will also say that having identified with anandamaya as atma which is really kosha having identified one loses sight of one's real nature therefore brahma is to be attained brahma jnana has to be attained but till that brahma jnana takes place brahma will remain an attainable to be attained vastu and thereby there will be a difference seen avidya krata difference between jiva and brahma anandamaya anandamaya abhimani jiva where there is gradations of priya moda pramoda ityadi and there are no three divisions only these are indicative of all sorts of gradations in ananda 
which we saw in looking at the the ananda mimamsa of brahmananda valli of taitri upanishad now this is going to come up a labdha labdhavya the labdha and labdhavya in the ekadeshi mata is jiva and anandamaya respectively but in the siddhanti mata parama siddhanta labdha is anandamaya jiva and ananda roop ananda swarupa brahma is labdhavya so that is the difference we have to be uh, seeing this difference as we go along as i mentioned that we will keep on looking back to this sutra and see the and contrast the parama siddhanta with the ekadeshi mata otherwise it's very easy to agree with the ekadeshi mata and get uh, get a wrong conclusion and wrong ideas that it is upasana or anandamaya is brahma itself so with that let's continue yattu puchcha shabdase avayav paratvam iti tatra ah now because vikara shabda has been mentioned therefore vikara shabda as a meaning of maya that will lead to vikara shabda as a meaning of anandamaya if vikara is the artha of maya pratya then anandamaya will be vikara of ananda so yattu puchcha shabdasya avayav paratvam iti tatra ah so the vikara shabda neeti chin prachuryat that sutra is to be looked at from the parama siddhanta perspective and what is that there brahma brahma is the meaning of ananda by by lakshana so anandamaya itself does not mean brahma but you have to drop that and get to the brahma puchcham pratishta so it is jahad lakshana jahati lakshana there by which you land on you have to give up the anandamaya buddhi and land on the puchcha buddhi which is brahma which is pratishta it is not an avayava it is not a part but the purva pakshi is saying what puchcha shabda by puchcha shabda anandamaya vakya uh, no earlier what we saw this kim anandamaya avayavatvena brahma uchyate because brahma puchcham pratishtha has been mentioned there brahma puchcham that much part means that brahma is the tail in that simile of anandamaya therefore brahma would be what avayava a part of anandamaya that is refuted yattu puchcha shabdasya avayava paratvam iti tatra ah vikara shabdan neeti chinna prachuryat विकार so, विकार because विकार has been mentioned, therefore there will be a part and the whole relation there. If that is the objection of the पूर्व पक्षी न वाई प्राचुर्य प्राचुर्य इज दी मीनिंग वॉट इज दैट हियर आनंद प्राचुर्य बट दैट इज नॉट दी आनंद मय इट सेल बाय लक्षण ब्रह्म सो विकार शब्द अवयव पर पुच्छ शब्द what is vikara shabda avayava para puchcha shabda the puchcha means avayava therefore that tail which is the part of anandamaya due to that word being used how so by saying anandamaya and in that anandamaya simile puchcha which is brahma is a part equated with compared with brahma that is a part it's a tail tat samanaadi karanya sorry tat samanaadi karana brahma shabda na svapradana brahma para iti chetna if the puro pakshi says because brahma is said to be the tail therefore tat samanaadi karana brahma shabda na svapradana brahma para that brahma is mentioned as the part of anandamaya therefore it cannot mean आनंदमय के नॉट मीन ब्रह्म तत् समानादिकरण ब्रह्म शब्द दिस पुच्छ एंड ब्रह्म आर इन समानादिकरण पुच्छ इज एन अवयव देयरफॉर ब्रह्म के नॉट बी स्वप्रदान ब्रह्म पर न स्वप्रदान ब्रह्म पर इति चेत मीनिंग आनंदमय cannot mean brahma because a part of it puchcha the tail has been equated with brahma therefore anandamaya cannot be brahma that is swapradana brahma para it cannot mean brahma itself iti chetna 
Parama Siddhanti says, not so, why Prachuryat? What is this Prachuryat? Prachurya is not Ananda Prachurya in Ananda Maya, which was seen in Ekadesha Mata, Ekadeshi Mata. Here, Avayava Praya Prayogat. Prachurya means abundance. Not abundance of Ananda. By Lakshana, what is being looked at now is Brahma is the meaning of Ananda Maya itself. Now, Prachuryat avayava praya prayogat pucha mityuchyate because avayava praya prayoga is there, that is the prachurya. There is simile used of the bird with each and every locus where there can be identification as atma. So that bird simile makes one understand that there are parts in this so to say Atma, Annamaya Ityadi, and Atma is without parts. So these parts belong to that which is born, that which has Vikara, that is which is that which is Vikara, that which has Vikara, all the Shadvikara are there. Asti Jayate Parinamate Ityadi. And finally, Nashyati. And Atma does not have Nasha. Therefore, also, Annamaya cannot be Atma, it is Kosha. Pranamaya cannot be Atma, it is Kosha, Ityadi, and thereby Pancha Kosha Viveka. When you have arrived at Anandamaya with four Kosha Vivekas, Viveka of the four Koshas, four as Koshas, Anandamaya is Atma, there due to Prachurya, Avayava Praya Prayoga, that is the meaning of Prachurya. Because there has been simile used with this, with the parts of the bird. Therefore, this pucham iti uchyate. But the pucha, the tail meaning is not literally the tail. Pratishta is said in each and every kosha analysis. Here also that pratishta has to be taken into account and that Brahma is pratishta. Since there is nothing further to this, Brahma is the Pratishta, you will land here and you will not go further. That is the end goal. So just because Pucha has been mentioned, it is not in the meaning of the tail as a part. It is in the meaning of Pratishta. Na avayava vivakshaya. So what Pucham, the word Pucham is mentioned because the Pucham word has been used over and over again across the four Koshas to show that this fifth is also Kosha, the Pucha word has been used. Where is the final Pratishta? That Pratishta is Brahma. Therefore, there is no Avayava Vivaksha. It is not due to Avayava Vivaksha. It is not due to the intention of showing parts in Brahma because Brahma is the whole. Anandamaya is a Vikara there. Vikara meaning Karya there. It is a Karya. It is a Vivarta Karya. Brahma has not changed. Brahma has not undergone Vikara. It is a Vivarta Karya. It appears to be so. Ataha pratishtha samabhi vyaharat puchya shabdasya adhara parataya sapradhanatvena brahma uchyate tyartaha. So here the word brahma, uh, the word puchya being in the meaning of brahma is not a part but puchya is pratishtartha, has pratishtartha and brahma also has pratishtartha. That is the intentional, that is the vivaksha. This is the meaning of the Vikara Shabda Atmahiti Chit Prachurya. Prachurya is not of Ananda, but Prachurya in the Ekadeshi Mata Prachurya is of Ananda. But in the Siddhanti Mata, because it is by Lakshana, there Prachurya is of Pucha Shabda. Because Vikara Shabda at what? Vikara Shabda as what? Pucha iti Avayava. That is the Vivaksha of the Puro Pakshi there in the Siddhanti's interpretation, Parama Siddhanti's interpretation. So he says, no, that Pucha Shabda has been used because there is a Bahulyam of Prachurya, meaning Bahulyam usage of Avayavas. So Pucha has been reused there. But the word Pucha being reused, like for example, Vyakrana Sutra. Those who have studied Vyakrana Sutras, Padam. What is Padam? Suptingantam Padam. Just because Suptingantam Padam means that whichever has, meaning Subantam and Tingantam are Padam. Get the Sanya as Padam. Now, all the Karyas that take place, for example, Padanta Sandhi. 
wherever pada is there there some sandhi takes place for that some rules will be made now it does not mean that only the derived noun and derived meaning declined declined noun in a particular case and number or the declined verb thinganta in a particular purush and vachana person and number that alone will have sandhi because pada word has been reused by the vyakarana sutrakara pandi maharshi reuses word pada even in the prakriya avastha meaning even while deriving the pratipadika itself which will take supra pratya and become subanta which will take thing pratya and become thinganta from dhatu in the derivation itself pada has been used to indicate something else which is very technical for the vyakarana while deriving whatever was applying for the declined pada noun and verb that will apply to the word which is being declined as well which has not yet become pratipadika by any way or even a, you know in the a verb also it has not become it can be any thing that is being derived it can be a derived dhatu also for example so anything that is being derived if it matches the sutra then pada sanya will be reused there so um, i think uh, swadishu asar namastane padam that is the sanya reused there starting with this supratya su ending with the tadhicharyali so it goes across multiple chapters three chapters whatever gets the asara nama sthana that is also another sanya given that will also be called as padam then a little bit is carved out saying that you know yachibham so when uh, yakaradi ajadi pratya follows that will get the bha sanya it will lose its pada sanya it is in the eka sanya adhikara this is an aside just to say that how a word can be used in a different sense it does not have to mean the same thing that we already know because pada is something which is known in the world those who have not studied vyakarana also they know the meaning of pada oh this this pada and that pada why because we have a pada padartha pada padartha have nitya sambandha says the purva mimamsa ka so they don't need to study those who study purva mimamsa bits and pieces here and there they don't need to study vyakarana but they understand the meaning of pada pada is a word which can be used in a sentence so that much is sufficient knowledge but pada can have some other meaning this is something that is known for someone who is doing detailed analysis similarly here in the sutra when you are analyzing the upanishads then just one definition is not sufficient the upanishad talking about puchha that is insufficient further we'll see you know aja shabda is used aja means a goat but aja has been used the word has been used for brahma also so there it does not mean that brahma is a goat it is ridiculous but it still comes up as a purva paksha because if all you have is a hammer everything looks like a nail this is the only thing that we know so we try to fit that somehow it does not fit there you have to do lakshana there you have to understand other meanings of the word similarly here puchha word has been used as a part of the simile earlier but now it means pratishtha therefore puchha shabdasya aadhara parataya that aadhara is the meaning here and therefore svapradhanatvena samabhi vyahara this pratishtha word has been used that is also in samana adikaranyam therefore what brahma pucham is not where you stop you look at pratishta and try to understand as to how brahma is not a part therefore pratishta is pradhana there and therefore puchcha shabdasya aadhara parataya how aadhara parata because pratishta means aadhara therefore aadhara parataya svapradhanatvena brahma utyate tyarta so it is talking about that brahma which is the goal of entire shastra entire pursuit that is the meaning of this sutra as per the parama siddhanti with this you know this kind of an understanding of lakshana in brahma all these sutras are reinterpreted by the 
ಪರಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಇತಶ್ಚ ಪುಚ್ಚ ಶಬ್ದಸ್ಯ ಆಧಾರ ಪರತ್ವ ಇತ್ಯಾಹ ನಾವು ವೈ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ಆಧಾರ ದಟ್ ಪುಚ್ಚ ಶಬ್ದ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ದಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಟೇಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ತದ್ ಹೇತು ವ್ಯಪದೇಶಾಚ ತದ್ ಹೇತು ವ್ಯಪದೇಶಾಚ ಸೊ ತದ್ ಹೇತು ವ್ಯಪದೇಶಾತ್ ಚ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ದಿ ಹೇತು ಇನ್ ದಿ ಏಕದೇಶಿ ಮತ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನಂದ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಹೇತು ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ರಸ ವಾಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆನಂದ ಯಾತಿ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆನಂದ ಯತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಛಾಂದಸ ಪ್ರಯೋಗ ಫಾರ್ ಆನಂದ ಯತಿ ಏಷ ಹೇವ ಆನಂದ ಯಾತಿ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕೋಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಏಕದೇಶಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹೇತು ಹೇತು ಮತ್ತು ನಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ this anandamaya causes ananda in jeevas and by extension in all vishayas therefore ananda hetu is is paramatma anandamaya in the param siddhanta tasya brahmana svavikara jatam prati hetutvena here it is not the ananda hetu it is the jagat hetu it is the hetu for everything in the prapancha so everything is a karya and anandamaya by lakshana brahma is the karana even even if you look at it anandamaya is that which you can attain in sushupti avastha it is not something newly attained anandamaya ananda is the manifest ananda is also veiled by other koshas in the swapna avastha not only is anandamaya active active in the sense the kosha is not a kosha it becomes atma not only the identification with anandamaya as myself is there in swapna avastha just like in sushupti avastha but it is also i mean it is also veiled that identification is veiled due to more and more coverings there is ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಕೋಶ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಸುಶುಪ್ತಿ ಸೊ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ವೇಲ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ಮನೋಮಯ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ಕೋಶಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೇಲಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಕೋಶ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ and these are not seen as kosha there is atma bhava there is an identification as i there is a tadatmya sambandha bheda sahishnu abheda that is tadatmya sambandha there that is how uh, the advaitin defines it but we can say tadatmya as identification that is sufficient there is there is actually there is abheda although there should be no abheda there because what these koshas are they are not atma they are mithya in the jagrat avastha there is an additional veiling because there are two more covers there is a pranamaya kosha also which is there in uh, swapna avastha also sukshma prana is also there but then in jagrat avastha there is annamaya kosha also pranamaya has prana is gross as well as settled so it uh, it goes across the this stool of sharira as well as sukshma sharira so in swapna also and in jagrat avastha also jagrat avastha this pranamaya this prana is very active so is annamaya kosha active in the sense again identification there therefore the other inner atmas which are really koshas they are covered however in sushupti avastha anandamaya identification is pradhana there and there is no division there so what ha- what happens is that there anandamaya is karana sharira you if you look at this anandamaya with the veiling of avidya which is karana sharira it can be seen as pradhana there what is active there what is what is the asadharana active there which is not 
meaning which is there in others all other avasthas also but it is not pradhana therefore that karana hetu karana sharira is called as karana sharira vidya is called as karana sharira because it is karana hetu for other two sharira sukshma sharira and stula sharira are there as long as avidya ajnana or karana sharira is there therefore it is karana similarly here ananda not only is anandamaya hetu for ananda as interpreted by the ekadeshi mata but anandamaya is also karana for all its karya vikaras so everything that the jiva has anubhava of it is because the identification with anandamaya is there therefore one wakes up into swapna or in jagrata avastha as an individual with identification of the karya which is vijnanamaya ityadi so that is the angle you have to look at from the perspective of bhagavat padiya mata so tad hetu yapadesha is what tasya brahmana tasya tat there tad hetu tasya hetu tasya hetu what is that tasya brahmana ha स्वीकार जातम प्रति हेतु सो स्वीकार जातम प्रति ब्रह्म विकार ब्रह्म विकार इज नॉट रियल विकार इट इज विवर्त टूवर्ड्स देम दिस ब्रह्म इज द कारण नॉट आनंद बाय लिटरली वॉट इज दैट बाय लक्षण ब्रह्म सो दिस सगुण ब्रह्म इज द कारण टूवर्ड्स इट्स विकार prati hetu tena so entire jagat why so how do you how do you land upon this interpretation as the puru pakshi siddhanti says idam sarvam asrujata iti vakye upadesha ityartha idam sarvam this entire prapancha jagat asrujata brahma manifested it it created it iti vakye upadesha in that shruti vakya there is a teaching like that that brahma is jagat karana and that brahma therefore is hetu for all its vikara that is the meaning of tad hetu yapadeshaacha itascha puchcha vakye brahma svapradanam ityah and why would puchcha vakya mean not a tail but pratishta brahma itself by pratishta meaning brahma itself svapradanam meaning that puchcha vakya is talking about itself brahma itself it is not talking about itself as a part of anandamaya which is pradhana so sap pradhana there brahma is pradhan swam pradhanam yasya yasya puchcha vakyasya tat puchcha vakyam sap pradhanam that is the samasa vigraha there is bahuri you can also take uh, you know it can also be taken as karma dharaya as swam pradhanam but bahuri seems better there and what is the other reason as to why it is swapradhana this puchcha vakya puchcha vakye brahma so, sorry puchcha vakye brahma uh, the anya pada is not uh, puchcha vakye it is brahma so swam pradhanam yasya brahmana puchcha vakyascha brahmana tad brahma swapradhanam not tad puchcha vakya but puchcha vakye sthitam yad brahma tad brahma swapradhanam and therefore this sutra mantra varnikam eva cha giyate मंत्र वर्णिक गीयते वॉट एवर इज सेड इन दि मंत्र भाग दैट इट सेल्फ इज रिपीटेड इन दि ब्राह्मण भाग विद दि एलोबरेशन विच इज दि पूर्वपक्षी रिफ्यूटेशन इन एक देशी सिद्धांत ऑलसो हियर दि परम सिद्धांत ऑलसो से सेम थिंग बट ब्रह्म इज दि फोकस देर नॉट आनंदमय लक्षण ऑफ आनंदमय इन टू ब्रह्म यत सत्यम ज्ञानम अनंतम इत्यादि मंत्र वर्ण प्रतिपाद्यम ब्रह्म दैट लक्षण वाक्य सत्यम ब्रह्म ज्ञानम ब्रह्म अनंतम ब्रह्म एंड फर्दर आल्सो तस्माद वाये तस्माद आत्मन आकाश संभूत इत्यादि मंत्र वर्ण प्रतिपाद्यम व्हाट एवर इज रिवील्ड इन दैट लक्षण वाक्य द डेफिनेशन मंत्र एंड फर्दर ऑल दैट इज व्हाट इज ब्रह्म it is committed to brahma so all that is is elaborated in the brahmana tadeva brahma puchcham iti brahmana vakye swapradhanyena giyate mantra brahmano mantra brahmana yor ekarthya ityartah the same hetu but the interpretation is brahma itself that same brahma is being discussed in brahmana 
which was discussed in the mantra section. Which, Brahm, which uh, Brahmana? Brahma Pucham Pratishta. There it is the same Brahma which has been there in the opening statement, in the Pratijna and the Lakshana definition. Because what is the Pratijna? Brahma, uh, Brahma Vida Aap Noti Param. Mm. So Brahma with one who knows Brahma attains the highest. And suddenly you can't be talking about Jiva as the Upasya. Because with that you are not going to get anything. You will not become a Brahma with. You will become a Jiva with. Jiva with will not get anything. We will get Anartha. What he has already gotten that itself will continue. Therefore, if you look at Pratijna also, you follow through, you will see Brahma all over. Because that is the topic under discussion. And this Brahma Pucham cannot be Anya Para. It has to be Brahma Para itself. Thereby, Sopradhanena, Sopradhanena, Giyate, in the Brahmana, and therefore, so, 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 Sopradhanena, Giyate, Brahmana Vakke, the same Brahma, which is discussed in the Mantra Bhaga. Why? Because Mantra and Brahmana, Brahmana have the same Prayojana. Ekarthyat is same Prayojana. It has the same Vishaya that is continuing across Mantra and Brahmana. Nanu Puchavakke Anandamaya Swapradhanatvena Pratipadya Kimna Syadityata Aha. Now Puru Pakshi says, why not Anandamaya be the meaning? Who is this Puru Pakshi now? This uh, Puru Pakshi has taken a back, back seat. It appears as though. Why? Because Puchavakke Anandamaya itself is Swapradhana. Not Brahma. What is Pradhana there? Anandamaya. Says the Ekadeshi, if you look at this, is the Ekadeshi Mata. So, Nanu Puchavake Anandamaya Sopradhana Twina Pratipadja Kimna Syad Ityataha. Why can't it mean Anandamaya itself? It can be Puro Pakshi also who is claiming to be uh, claiming that this Anandamaya, not claiming to be, claiming Anandamaya to be the meaning literally as vikara artha ananda vikara and therefore jiva this is his focus so it can be that puro pakshi or it can also be ekadeshi who says this anandamaya is being discussed there in the puchha vakya that itself is the topic there and that is brahma he says that is brahma not by lakshana anandamaya itself is brahma and which has to be gained in upasana so that that kind of a paksha is refuted by netra anupapatte he netra anupapatte he there what we saw in the ekadeshi mata na itaraha na itara means anandamayat itaraha na or brahma anya anandamaya anya because anandamaya is brahma for the puro pakshi no, sorry uh, for the ekadeshi so if you look at it na itaraha Na itara anupapatte, there Ishwara itaraha jivaha na anandamaya. So anandamaya is not Ishwara itaraha jivaha, anandamaya is Ishwara. That is how it has landed on. In the case of the Paramasiddhanti, he is saying na itaraha means what? Itara is what? Itara anandamaya. Anandamaya is itara, not jiva. So Brahma itara, Ishwara itara is not taken as jiva. In this sutra interpretation of the Paramasiddhanta, he takes Brahma itara is Anandamaya. Anandamaya is not the meaning of Brahma itself directly by Lakshana, yes. But Anandamaya by itself is not Brahma, it is a Kosha, it is Jiva who has identification there because with identification, Brahma having identification with Anandamaya will become a Jiva. <coughs> we talk about Vijnanamaya where there is an identification because of which one becomes segmented. Jiva, Brahma identified with Vijnanamaya because Vijnanamaya is when the buddhi and mana is active. In Anandamaya, which is seen, Anandamaya, only Anandamaya is felt in, is known or known from analysis of the Jagrat Jiva also. In Jagrat Avastha, when you analyze, then Shuddha Anandamaya identification cannot be seen in Jagrat and Swapna, it can be seen only in Shushupti Avastha. 
where there is no segmentation because buddhi which thinks and divides that kind of a division is not possible in shushupti because buddhi is folded back into karana avastha bija avastha but it does not mean that ananda maya identification will not segment the brahma jeeva it will segment although there is no division then but still there is a division by karya because once one wakes up then that division is there because in bija there is division anandamaya identification has in its garbha in the bija itself it has division which one wakes up with as an ajnani sleeps so he wakes up so itaraha brahma itara ishwara itara is what anandamaya atra na pratipadya that is not the final entity to be revealed it is not the final vastu to be revealed it is shown as kosha because brahma puchcham pratishta although it is not said that anyontara atma there is no anyontara atma mentioned there just like it was mentioned earlier but brahma is the pratishta that is sufficient there because further you go in the upanishad you will see that anandamaya is not discussed anymore so na pratipadya that is not the pratipadya is pratipatum yogya it is not that which is fit to be revealed it is that which is discussed so that you can land on that is which is fit to be revealed which is brahma that is veiled in anandamaya by gradations of ananda this swarupa ananda is veiled is covered so priyadi matvena agrim vakyokta srashtratva adi anubhapatte nityartha so pura pakshi which can be ekadeshi also here as as to why anandamaya is not revealed as the tatpare vishaya here he says because there are gradations siddhanti says there are gradations in ananda here priyadi matvena priya mod and pramoda is there in this anandamaya avastha anandamaya identification once you identify with anandamaya as oneself then anandamaya has gradations brahma does not have gradations in swarupa ananda but the reflected ananda has gradations of priya moda pramoda and so on therefore agrim vakyokta srashtratvaadi anubhapatte he so idam sarvam asrujat that entity that vastu that sachidananda vastu created this prapancha this entire prapancha it did srishti of this entire prapancha that cannot be something which has gradations in ananda gradations in ananda are there for someone who has ragadvesha there is vasana ityadi due to which there are gradations in ananda that cannot be the creator the creation is not as per the whims of an individual it is as per the karma samashti karma therefore priyadi matva being endowed with priyadi gradations will make this anandamaya limited entity that limited entity which has changes itself cannot create this prapancha therefore srashtratvadi which is going to come up in the upanishad later that won't be tenable says the siddhanti itascha anandamaya atra na pratipadye tyah due to this reason also anandamaya is not to be revealed not fit to be revealed here it is not the tatpare vishaya you have to go further just a little further you know drop these gradations is ananda land on the swarupa why bheda vipadesha cha so this i already mentioned as to bheda between who between who so bheda as per the ekadeshi interpretation is the labdhur abdhavya bheda their labdha is jeeva and labdha is anandamaya here the parama siddhanti reinterpret the sutra and says bheda vipadeshat cha what is that because there is teaching of bheda between whom and whom rasak rasak dyum hevayam labdhanandi bhavati same mantra is quoted 
बट लब्धव्य भाव इज बिटवीन हूम एंड हूम हियर ही सेज इति आनंदमय ब्रह्मणो लब्धलब्धव्यत्वेन रूपेण भेद व्यपदेशाद इत्यर्था बिकॉज देर इज अ टीचिंग ऑफ भेद वॉट इज द टीचिंग वॉट हेज टू बी अटेन्ड इज आनंद नॉट आनंद मय सो इति आनंद मय एंड ब्रह्म बिटवीन आनंद मय हु इज लब्ध एंड आनंद विच इज ब्रह्म स्वरूप which is labdhavya so anandamaya is labdhru and brahma is labdhavya that is the bheda which is being shown there it is pointed out there rasagyam hevayam labdho ayam labdhva anandi bhavati who is that anandamaya ha brahma labdhva anandi bhavati that's what it means this anandamaya itself attaining brahma has to what meaning dropping neti neti prakriya it is all attainment is also neti neti prakriya that i am not anandamaya the jeeva who is identified as anandamaya that i have priya i have modha i have pramodha kind of oh i i have so much of happiness that i am happy how happy can show this happy this much happy a lot happy there are gradations i am more happy than i was yesterday when i heard that you are coming home today you are home i am so happy that i am happy as compared to yesterday i am more happy shows gradations in happiness that is not swarupa ananda so that is jeeva this anandamaya identified jeeva there in jagrat avastha also it is the same anandamaya which is creating gradations in sukha that anandamaya jeeva is labdha and then brahma is swarupa ananda brahma is ananda by swarupa which has to be attained how it how it has to be attained by dropping the identification with ananda maya which has gradations you know that you are not one who is having changes you are attaining these gradations is in happiness but you are not when you say i am happy what you are objectifying is the is the happiness in the mind the emotion in the mind is being objectified by you you distance yourself from it as the sakshi of that then that swarupa ananda is what has to be understood here labdhrutvam is by neti neti prakriya by attaining that jnana of swarupa which one does not have so it is basically if really what it means in this parama siddhanta when you analyze is that that jnana not being there jnana is attainable and that jnana is what basically swarupa jnana swarupa ananda jnana that i am ananda swarupa i cannot have gradations in ananda therefore i drop identification with ananda maya as myself it becomes a kosha and then that one who has dropped all identifications with all sorts of misunderstood atmas earlier in plural that too and then one who cannot be dropped one who has dropped identification with others but cannot drop identification with himself because it is not divided self anymore due to any upadhi it is the swarupa brahma itself which cannot have gradations in anything let alone ananda and thereby as do labdhavya dropping the association is attaining the ever attained this is the bheda vipadesha there so don't hold on to the upadi upadi is mithya that is the teaching there to bheda vipadesha cha now the last two sutras there in the anandamaya adhikarana purva pakshi raises an objection nanu anando brahma ityatratya anandasya brahmatvad anandamayasya api brahmatvam anumiyate ityata ah kama achana anumana apeksha kama achana anumana apeksha in the ekadeshi interpretation we had seen that kama cha that there is kama before srushti and anumana was seen as karmani vitpatti anumiyate iti anumanam we had seen in the ekadeshi mata and what was that anumiyate iti if you go back and look at it anumiyate iti anumanam which is what anumana eka gamyam that which can anumana there does not mean it is not bhave vipatti it does not mean inference it means that which can be inferred and that which can be in, 
only inferred that can that which can only be inferred so shruti does not have any business there as per the puro pakshi and that kind of an interpretation is wrong says the ekadeshi there ka why kamaachya anumana apeksha is not there you cannot say that anumana is the only pramana and therefore whatever is inferred there what is inferred there he says it is pradhana prasangikam prasangika due to occasion that occasion that it since it cannot mean jiva this anandamaya has to mean brahma said the ekadeshi siddhanti puro pakshi says that oh let it not mean jiva but why does it have to mean brahma it can mean pradhana also so that was refuted you know in 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 its stride that is not the main topic there so it cannot be pradhana because kama so what is the kama there so kama is so akama is before srishti the there is a kama itru shravana now the interpretation of the parama siddhanti is kamachana anupana apeksha is kamyati iti kama ha and anumana is bhave vyutpatti anumana means inference and kamyati iti kama ha what is what is desired is kama there kama kama was in the ekadeshi interpretation of this sutra kama was bhave vyutpatti anumana was karmani vyutpatti here it is just opposite to that meaning kama is bhave vyutpatti and anumana is uh, sorry kama is karmani vyutpatti and anumana is bhave vyutpatti so nanu anandah brahma in the mantra anando brahma anando brahma so there in the bhrugavalli this mantra is there so that ananda is brahma itra ityatratya anandasya that ananda which has been used in that mantra anando brahma iti vyajanat so there anandasya brahmatvat because ananda and brahma are in samanadikaranam what is that the teaching in the bhrugavalli the teaching is that may you know this ananda as brahma and therefore what ananda being brahma ananda maya is also brahma anandasya brahmatvad ananda maya sya api brahmatvam anumiyate what is inferred what is inferred is that because ananda is brahma ananda maya is also brahma this is inferred there this can be the inference there actually anumana can be uh, karmani vyutpatti also so anumiyate iti anumanam can be taken here but kama is also karmani what is important here is kama is karmani vyutpatti in the siddhantis parama siddhantis interpretation anumana can be seen as karmani also it can be seen as bhave also here anumiyate it is inferred meaning what is the inference you can ask what is the inference also it the anandamaya is also brahma because ananda is brahma that can be the inference kamyati iti kamaha is karmani utpatti and what is that what is desired the desired is ananda since ananda is what is desired actually in each and every pursuit tasya brahmatva darshanat and that ananda which is sought after by each and every living being is brahma itself आनंदो ब्रह्मेति व्यजानात सो तस्य ब्रह्मत्व दर्शनात तस्य आनंदस्य ब्रह्मत्व दर्शनात न अनुमानेन आनंदमयस्य अपि ब्रह्मत्वम अपेक्षितव्यम इफ यू रियली थिंक दैट सेज इज सिद्धांति दैट कैन नॉट बी इनफर्ड एट ऑल बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो सच अपेक्षा इफ आनंद इज ब्रह्म हाउ कैन आनंदमय बी ब्रह्म हाउ कैन सच इनफरेंस बी यूज्ड देयर द श्रुति वाक्य इज देयर there is shruti vakya which is saying that ananda is brahma then why do you say an- because mayat is not swarthe mayat there it is vikararthe prachuryarthe also but you cannot say swarthe mayat there vikarartha mayat vidhana dityartha and the parama siddhanta is that it is not in prachuryartha really it is in vikarartha it is in vikarartha mayat pratya there karya it is brahma karya that is how it has to be understood what we saw couple of sutras back 
and shruti is pramana here you don't need to use linga here you don't need to use a anumana shruti itself is saying anandamaya is brahma so anandamaya ananda vikara cannot be ananda itself ananda and ananda vikara are not same they are not interchangeable so anumana apeksha is not there at all there itopi na anandamaya atra pratipadhyay tyah due to this reason also anandamaya is not the tatparya vishaya there Shruti does not intend to reveal Anandamaya or it does not intend for the seeker to stop at Anandamaya. Why? Asmin nasya cha tad yogam shasti. Asmin nasya cha tad yogam shasti. Asmin puchha vakyokte brahmani. Unto this brahma which is stated in the puchha vakya brahma puchham pratishta. Unto that there is yoga which is taught there. What is that? Prabuddhasya. For this Prabuddha, one Asya, Prabuddha Asya, Asya, one who has woken up to the Tattva, one who is seeking the Tattva and almost woken up to the reality, Swaroop of oneself. Who is that? He has done this four Kosha Viveka. He has landed on Anandamaya. So, Prabuddha Asya, Asya, Anandamaya Asya. He has woken up from the association with the other four Koshas as Atma. He knows them as Koshas. Now he is Anandamaya himself. Fifth Kosha. Which he is taken as Atmana. Prabuddhasya asya Anandamaya asya Yadahyeva Ityadi that Rasagyum heyon labdhwar Yadahyeva Iti Shastram Tadyogam Tadbhava Patim Shasti It teaches that Ananda Ghanatvam itself there. So what I say is so not uh, uh, rasa this yadahyevesha etasmin nadrishye the same mantra that we saw yesterday quoted by the ekadeshi same mantra long mantra at the end of that section is quoted adrishya anatma ityadi iti shastram tadyogam tad, tadyogam is tadbhava patti attaining that brahmatva brahma bhava is what is taught there and brahma bhava is what dropping the other bhava is brahma bhava attaining brahma bhava Ataha atra anandamaya sya apratipadhyatva. Since anandamaya is not the main subject matter there, because Brahma is the subject matter. Brahma vidha apnoti param. Pucha Brahma eva sapradhanam nirvishesham nyayam iti siddham. It has not anything else, not anandamaya as, as Brahma literally. Not Anandamaya as Jeeva as per the Puro Pakshi. Earlier cases, Ekadesha Siddhanti. So Anandamaya itself as Brahma, literally, as the Ekadeshi says, that is not what is taught there. And Anandamaya as Jeeva as the end goal, that is also not taught there. And in either case, the Vishaya. As Anandamaya as Paramatma as Upasya or Anandamaya as Jeeva as Upasya, that is also not the topic. So, Pradhanam Nirvishesham Brahma, that Nirguna Brahma, which is in its own meaning, it is not to reveal something else or it is not a part or part of an expression to reveal something else, it is not an Avayava and it is not Upasya, it is Niya Brahma, that Brahma is to be known as oneself. It is not to be meditated upon as oneself. It is Siddham. This is the Anandamaya Adhikarana as per the Parama Siddhanta. So since we did it together, I mean I went back to each and every sutra when looking at the second interpretation. I don't want to revisit this. We will close here. We will look at the next Adhikarana which is Antara Adhikarana. Just as an introduction. Itham Purva Siddha Nirvishesha Brahma Samanvaya Apavadakam Midamaha. Now that Samanvaya which was done there as to Nirvishesha Brahma, Nirguna Brahma is the Tatpare Vishya in the earlier section. In the Anandamaya Adhikarana, we have seen that Nirguna Brahma, Nyaya Brahma, Nirvishesha Brahma is Nyaya Brahma. How to be known? By Panchakosha Viveka. You know yourself as that Brahma which is hidden within as Pratyagatma and all the other Koshas becoming Atma by identification, by Tadatma Samanda, one has lost sight of one's reality. That is revealed by the Taitri Upanishad there. So, Purva Siddha Nirvishesha Brahma, in this manner, whatever is established as the Nirguna Brahma, as one's own Swarupa, 
and that samanvaya was there not only in taitiriya upanishad but chandogya also we have seen that in the ikshatya dikarana the apavada to that a counter to that is this adhikarana antaradhikaranam idamah so antaradhikaranam here we'll look at you know the uh, antaha so the some sections of the upanishad where what is taught as the akshigata akshigata in the right eye so there is there are some upasanas now this is upasana this is not jnana uh, jnana is there of course but it is for upasana because in upanishad also there is upasana and siddhanti says yes this is upasana we don't disagree with upasana here but this upasana is for the purpose of of the 6th 7th and 8th chapter finally jnana is the commitment of the entire upanishad but sections there are upasana para they talk about upasana and with that upasana there will be aikagriya there will also be uh, you know some uh, some adrushta there that will also be there one will get punya and one will be able to land on jnana proper so here you do upasana there will also be uh, adrushta also and then uh, you know the upasya devata will bless the person and one can get krama mukti also or one can get jnana mukti meaning brahma loka one can proceed to brahma loka or identify get identification with prana upasana in prana upasana with prana with hiranyagarbha upasana with hiranyagarbha and that can be a limited phala or it can in krama lead a person to brahma loka and there one can get jnana and get krama mukti at the end of the kalpa or one can get jnana here and now advaita jnana and be freer free here and now one can be jivan mukta so this can be jivan mukti also so the upasana serve multiple multiple purposes based on what kind of upasana etc and puro pakshi says uh, this is an upasana siddhanti says i agree this is an upasana but upasana on what what is the upasya vishaya because that will let you get the phala as intended in the shruti otherwise in your case the phala will be more limited than whatever limited phala upasana can give says the siddhanti so here the chandogya mantras are dealt with where the upasana is talked about as a jiva meditates upon the purusha there is a purusha talked about in the right eye dakshina akshi so in the akshi akshini dakshina akshini so in the akshin akshin is the eye and specifically somewhere there is a mention of dakshini dakshini akshini so in the right eye a purusha is to be meditated upon who is that purusha there is a purusha even in aditya surya mandala also in surya there is a purusha in gayatri upasana also there is this discussion as to what is the upasya devata there gayatri savitra devata so is it savita savita is prathama ek vachana pulling of savitra so is it the surya with the sharira without the sharira what is there in the ant antaha within within the surya so just like there is an upasya purusha within the eye of the jiva within the eyes of the jiva we'll just keep it simpler within the eyes of the jiva where it is in the upasana it is discussed in detail but we are not focused into details of the upasana we are focused on what is the tatparya what is the upasya devata there who is the upasya devata there is it the jiva himself or is it the paramatma or is it some individual identified with a particular upadin of surya who is it that decision has to be made so this adhikarana is for that purpose so we look at that in the next part it is just an introduction so that we move away from the anandamay adhikarana and we can you know relate with the other adhikarana amna yantika samsiddham adi madhyanta varjitam ananda ghanam ananda ghanam apurnam आत्मज्योति रूपासमहे तत्सत नमस्ते आल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट हा नमस्ते